Finding the best gyokuro can be difficult, especially when you don't know exactly what to look for. In this video, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to find the best gyokuro, and we'll also show you where to find the best gyokuro tea online. Afterwards, we'll compare some of the best gyokuro green tea and see the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Let's get started. What to know before judging the best gyokuro tea. Before you even look for the best gyokuro, there are a few things that are important to keep in mind. First, we should define what gyokuro is and how it's made. If you understand all the hard work that goes into producing the best gyokuro tea, you'll understand how quality varies so widely between gyokuro. Gyokuro is considered to be the most sought after leaf tea in Japan. It was once the tea of choice for the emperor, and this is why you'll often see it being sold as imperial gyokuro. Gyokuro is thought to maintain or even improve its flavor with age, so it's no surprise that it was in high demand in a time before refrigeration. The reason gyokuro is so sought after today is because of its powerful, sweet, and savory flavor. This flavor is very unique in the world of tea. In fact, when discussing the flavor of gyokuro tea, we often find it more useful to compare it to foods rather than other teas. Gyokuro has the savory flavor of a miso soup with a touch of saltiness and a hint of the seaweedy flavor. It doesn't sound like it would be very good, but once you experience some of the best gyokuro tea, you will find that you can't get enough of it. How is gyokuro made? To make gyokuro tea, the farmer starts by covering the tea plant for three weeks ahead of the harvest. When the tea plant is exposed to sunlight, it begins to convert the theanine into catechins. Catechins can be great to protect the tea against UV light, but they can produce a very bitter flavor in the final tea. If a farmer wants to reduce this bitterness and maximize the sweetness, he will apply the covering. This special type of netting is also called a kabuse, and it's commonly used across different types of Japanese green tea. After the shading period is up, the farmer will then select the top three sprouts of the tea plant. These are the sweetest in flavor and the highest in nutrients. All the best teas in Japan will be made from these top three leaves. After the leaves have been gathered up, they are ready to be steamed, dried, and rolled into these tight needle-shaped leaves. These tightly rolled leaves lock in the flavor and the aroma of the gyokuro until it's ready to be released all at once into a glorious green infusion. How much does gyokuro typically cost? When you're looking for the best gyokuro, you should expect to pay a little bit more. Generally, gyokuro can cost somewhere in between 30 cents and $1 per gram. Because you use 5 grams of leaves to make 3 separate cups of tea, this comes down to around only $1 per cup, so it's not too bad for the occasional indulgence. If you're looking for the best gyokuro green tea, you'll need to get it as directly as possible. People often ask about the best gyokuro brands, and the truth is that gyokuro isn't made by brands, it's made by farmers. We don't like to protect our suppliers. We'll show you exactly who produced the gyokuro tea you're drinking when you order from us. When you buy gyokuro tea from Nio, you will be getting it from the legendary farmer, Mr. Sakamoto. Mr. Sakamoto has been growing gyokuro tea without the use of pesticides or chemicals since 1985. During this time, he has developed his own blend of organic fertilizer, which allows him to grow strong, healthy, and flavorful tea plants without harming the local ecosystem. Mr. Sakamoto produces by far the best gyokuro green tea we have had, and we're going to walk you through some of our favorites. First, the Gyokuro Cha Musume. The Gyokuro Cha Musume is the best gyokuro for beginners. It comes from the Yabukita cultivar, which is the most commonly used tea variety in Japan. Even though it has a lower price tag, it's bursting with flavor. The Cha Musume has a direct savory sweetness with light floral notes. The Gyokuro Sasahime is a more intermediate level tea. It's made from a blend of Okumidori, Saimidori, and Yabukita cultivars, so it has more nuance and balance. The Sasahime is also the best gyokuro green tea for cold brew giving you a smooth and sweet green tea with plenty of fruity and vegetal notes. The Gyokuro Wakamusha is a great tea if you prefer these more vegetal or seaweedy flavors that Gyokuro is known for. This Gyokuro is from the Okumidori cultivar and it's the newest addition to our collection. Finally, the Gyokuro Cha Meijin is the best Gyokuro tea for serious tea drinkers. It has much more of a warmer sweetness with notes of caramel and brown sugar. This tea comes from the Saimidori cultivar, which is well sought after for its delicate sweet flavor and lack of bitterness. Now that you've got your gyokuro tea, let's talk about how to prepare it. To prepare the best cup of gyokuro tea, you'll want to follow these basic steps. Make sure to pay careful attention to the water temperature, as this is the most important. Step 1. Add 5 grams of tea leaves to your kyusu teapot or shibori dashi, which works particularly well for gyokuro. Step 2. Pour in 150 milliliters of water at a temperature of around 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. Step 3. Let the tea sit undisturbed for 2 minutes with the lid on to keep the tea warm. Step 4. After the time is up, you can pour out the tea into the cup and the built-in strainer will automatically filter the leaves out. As long as you follow these steps, you should be able to easily prepare the best cup of gyokuro tea. 
Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions about gyokuro or green tea in general, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you'd like to try some gyokuro tea for yourself, you can find it on our website, neoteas.com. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.